Hi, this is Dennis Surgent. I'm here to talk to you about the affinity die graphing and prioritization as part two in a series of two. This is a connection from affinity grouping to start sorting out where we start first in our priorities for action. When we use affinity die graphing is after we've done the affinity grouping. It's when we need to prioritize further and it helps us decide where to start on our priority ideas for improvement. Let's review the prioritization by subject matter experts. We've asked them to sort the ideas by a prioritization matrix. They've placed their ideas in the quadrant on the matrix that match their sense of effort and impact. You should remember this matrix. They basically determined if it was low or high effort and whether it was low or high impact. You may recall that in this matrix, we identified the areas in the upper left quadrant as our first priority because they're low effort and high impact. We had a grouping of subject matter experts look at all the ideas that they had collected together and they sorted them and labeled them into categories or affinity groups. We took these groups of affinities between the different ideas and the subject matter experts labeled them after they agreed to group them together because of their affinities. And we asked the question, is there an influence between the pairs and what's the greatest direction of influence? You may recall that we drew arrows and in that last example, we identified that management had the most outgoing influence on the other categories and groupings. We identify the number of outgoing influences and the number of incoming influences for each grouping. This is, in effect, the interrelationship digraph, or we call it the affinity digraph. Please note the ranking here. We've identified from top to bottom what are the number of outgoing influences. Once we sort, label, and digraph those, we have then the opportunity to say, okay, so on this first category where there is the most outgoing influence on the other clusters of ideas, we need to start there first because of that influence the team has determined we have to start them first. And the customer in this case, the grouping of customer ideas, don't get started until we've started the others because each of the others has some degree of influence on the customer grouping of ideas. So we start with the greatest outgoing influence and we continue through it means an example here that the management with five outgoing influences influences all the other categories the most. It should be started before the other categories. And as I mentioned, the customer affinity should be started last after the others have started. Doesn't mean when they get finished, it just means when we start. After we've done the affinity grouping, we take the data from each process or organization and we draw our opportunities from those original ideas that are gathered from the subject matter experts. We group them by affinity and prioritize them by the interrelationship digraph and we make a photograph of all the documentation that we've created, whether it's with sticky notes or if we save it in a digital form. We then prioritize the categories using these high, medium, and low intervals the teams can suggest their own ideas for what those intervals ought to be. We create an action item list on what are the priority action items. You'll note that we've had six action items suggested as part of the management affinity group. We've identified them as high priority, but we've taken the individual items and we've given them the high, medium, or low priorities that we discussed in the last slide. We identify the appropriate interval 
in which to start the work doesn't mean when it has to be done, just when it's started, and who is going to do it. Since we had six people who were part of our subject matter expert group, we have a name for each of them, and we should follow up on these within a fairly short interval. So what do we do next with the priorities? Well, we run PDSAs to test the idea's theory of improvement. We ask questions of other subject matter experts. We gather evidence of the waste and loss in the status quo. And we gather evidence of the value in the improvement ideas. We further prioritize the ideas by the evidence of improved values in one of these measurable areas. I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you have questions, you're welcome to email me or call me back. My phone number is listed, as is my email address. Thank you very much.